and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Yoko Park, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Replicant 2 by Audio Damage. It's an audio unit extension and I've got it loaded up right here inside Cubasis. Replicant 2 is a tempo based delay and a quite intricate one at that. Now there is a lot of stuff in here but stick with me and I'll try to explain all of it. Okay so before we get into the nitty gritty there are a few modes that I think should be explained first. Number one, Replicant will do nothing unless you've got your door playing. And right now it doesn't do anything because we don't have any settings that would make Replicant replicate anything. Second, I would like to show you this right down here in the lower right corner. And if we press where it says duck, then we get three different options. So right now it's set at ducking, which means that whenever something is triggered, then the triggered processed signal will be heard and the original will be ducked down. In mix, you will hear both the original signal in this case the original drum beat together with the FX triggered slices on top of it and in send mode it works as a send effect meaning we will only hear the processed signal and we won't hear the original signal at all the next thing to get off the list is the manual mode so it simply is what it says a manual way of interacting with replicant 2 Now there are more stuff in here and we're gonna go into all of it and we're going to begin with the selector. The selector is set up in 16 notes. So the beginning of the selector is up here and so when we start to play our sequence it will start to play from here and go through all the 16 notes or steps and you activate or deactivate notes by tapping on them. Add another one over here and then play this. As you can hear, it does nothing. And that's because we need to input more data. So first we're gonna go to the repeater section and I'm gonna tell Replicant to repeat notes two times by increasing the value with this knob. And right off the bat, we're getting something going. We're gonna jump back into the selector and we're gonna focus on this. So here we have two settings, one called selected beat and one called random beats. So let's say this is 0% and right up here is 100%. Selected beats is exactly what it says. So this will determine how likely it is that replicant will replicate the selected note. When we got it all the way up here, then when I play the track, it will be a 100% chance that replicant will replicate each of the steps that I've chosen. Now, if we instead pull this down to the middle, then it's a 50% chance that Replicant will replicate the steps that I've chosen. Now, right below it, we have something called random beats, and this sets how likely it is for the beats to become random. And so if we pull down on the selected beats and pull up on the random beats, then we can run this without having any beats or notes chosen. It will just randomly select beats. Now we could increase this one to 50% and this one to 50%. Then select two of the beats and have it run. And the cool thing with this is, as soon as you've got something going, then you can start chopping up your audio and input other audio in there. And you'll get some really interesting results. Now that we understand how these levers work, especially the random one, then it's easy to understand how these work. So 
So let's head on over to the repeater section. Now these controls will determine the length of the audio segments that replicant repeats and how many times it repeats them. That was a line from the manual, by the way. Audio damage, I really like your manuals. They're really straightforward. Now you set the loop size with this knob and right now we have everything from 128th down to one whole note. And in between we have dotted. Now there are triplets, but you have to activate them with this button right there. It says trips and when it's activated, you will see the triplets being represented by T. So very straightforward. Now the loop random does exactly what it says. When you increase the value, you increase the chance of random loop sizes being selected. Let's pull down on this before we continue. Now there is another button here. It's called ignore. The ignore switch also affects how replicant chooses beats for repetition. This switch determines what happens if replicant is currently repeating and a new beat is selected for repetition. If the ignore button is engaged, replicant ignores the new beat trigger and continues playing the audio it is repeating. Let's pull this to 1 16th, add a few more notes, make sure the ignore is on. Turn it off. Now the repeats control sets how many times replicant will repeat a beat. Under the repeat, we have another random value selector. And when you increase the value, you're increasing the chance that the amount of repeats will be randomly selected. So if I put this at 100%, then the value I put in here doesn't really matter. Now there is a really nice feature down here and it's the direction feature. And you've got a button tied directly to this control. It's called direction scatter. The direction does what you would guess. It will set the repetitions to play in either backwards or forwards forward modes. So I'll let the direction random be at 100%, turn off the scattering and now the repeated beats will play backwards. I just love audio damage and the way they think about their stuff. Right, so let's move on to the stutter controls. In simple words, with this you can actually granulate the repetition, cutting them down into minuscule sizes. Let's pull down on the random, up this one. Now you have to fiddle around with these controls quite a bit to get something you might like, or maybe you just like what you already heard here. Me, personally, I'm not too fond of this menu, but I did actually find a use for it. And that's how I'm getting this little note thing in my beat here. Now the length knob acts like a gate. The pitch does what it says. It will pitch the repeats basically up to plus 10 or minus 10 semi notes. Now the division knob will set the fraction of the audio chunk that will be repeated. And so when you have it up like this into very high numbers, you will start getting synth sounding kind of repetitions. And so the last control is the stutter randomness setting. And since we already know what the other random values does, it's not too hard to guess what this one does either. Right, so let's move on to this section right here with the panner and the filter. And I wanna start with the filters first. Two two pole filters, one low pass filter and high pass filter. And this will filter the outputted repeats.
So I want to show you another feature of the filter. You see up here we have a button called filter static and in its on mode it does exactly what it's doing right now. It's filtering all of the repeated beats but if you turn this off then the filter is no longer in static mode and the filter will be modulated. Very cool, right? We're almost done here. So let's move to the panner. Now the panner is what it says. It will auto pan the repeating beats back and forth in the stereo field. And with the position and speed in the middle state, the panner does nothing. Same way, if you pull down on the width, to zero then the panner does nothing even if you've set values with these knobs so i'll just set down the filters like that Now the pan wrap button controls how the panner operates when it reaches one side of the stereo field or the other. I'm reading from the manual here. If the pan wrap button is turned off as it is right now, the panner changes direction when it reaches either side. Think of it as a ping pong stereo delay. When you turn it on, the panner jumps to the other side when it reaches either side and continues in the same direction. To me, that just sounds like it's doing the same thing. You know, it's okay not to understand everything. Lastly, we have the output menu. And I've already explained what the FX mode does. The volume will set the main volume out. Now the decay knob works like a decay setting inside an envelope. We also have a bit crusher. Yeah, I really like that function. Now that is almost everything. And now we're talking about total utter madness and randomness. One random hold button and one random all. By tapping the random all button, it will set most of replicants parameters to randomly chosen values. giving you some really crazy results. The random hold button is checked only at the beginning of each measure. This will cause Replicant to generate a new series of random events, which will be preserved until you toggle the random hold button again. So you'll get a new thing happening with every toggle of this button. That's what I understand about it. That was a lot of information. Audio Damage has done a lot for mobile musicians with their audio unit extension plugins. I'm impressed with the quality of all the effects that they're giving us and they even gave us a synth. So stay tuned for a video review and tutorial of Phosphor 2. So I do suggest you check out Replicant 2. I'll put an app link down in the description so you can go grab it yourself. I also want to point out that if you like Replicant, then you'll most likely like Sector by Kimatica. So just a pointer there. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a Patreon account. So if you want to support creativity and good content here on YouTube, then why not sign up on Patreon? If Patreon is in your cup of tea, then I've also got this uh, PayPal me link. So you can do a one-off donation if you'd rather do that. Now, if you don't want to do either Patreon or PayPal, then you can always share my videos, uh, press the thumbs up. And if you do subscribe, then and don't forget to press in or tap in, uh, activate that little bell button, bell button, not the bell button, that little bell thing at the side there, because that way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and uh, have a lot of fun doing it. A lot, a lot, a lot. I've been trying for so long now. Find my way. I need you, oh baby, yeah. Oh baby, yeah. I've been trying for so long now. Oh, oh. Can't find my way. I